This is my friend Alex, Alexander Kleinschmidt, and he's from Wisconsin, the United States Milwaukee. of America. And in this video, we're going to show how he reacts with his first impressions to the city of Madrid, the country of Spain, and the continent of Europe. Do Americans really have such a small mind that they don't understand that things are different outside of the world? Find out in this video. Dude, Alex, it's your first metro ride. Whoa, it's a metro, crazy. Your first time seeing the city of Madrid. They got a Popeyes here too. They got a Popeyes, <laughs> dude. The Americans have invaded. <laughs> Whoa, gracias. Wow. First time churros, how are they? Bien. Whoa, this tomato sauce and ham on toast together. We'll see how it goes. Mmm. Wow, fresh, affordable fruits everywhere. And vegetables. Holy moly. So, Alex, uh, what do you think about this neighborhood, Lucero? Lucero? It's nice. It's pretty nice, but it's a little, it's a little bit chunga. <laughs> but hey, Lucero has its charm, don't get me wrong. Well, obviously the cars are a lot smaller, but like, man, check out this park job. It's hit like, the back of this thing. Yeah, there's like no space to park anywhere yeah, in this anywhere. city. Check it out. Bro, I see you got a washer here, but where's the dryer at, man? Come on, man, not everywhere in the world has dryers. Here in Europe, we like to conserve energy. Everybody hangs their clothes outside. Ah, tiene buena pinta. Muy bien. Holy moly, jodertio. <laughs> Alex, what do you think about Gran Via? Increíble. Increíble. Alex, there's a lot of people walking, huh? I haven't seen this many people in a long time. What do you think of Gran Via, bro? It's, it's un jaleo? Leo. Un jaleo. Wow, could you imagine living up there? Alex, what do you think about Puerta del Sol? Coho Nuto. Coho Nuto! Wow, I'm almost as happy as when the Bucks won the championship. Bucks and six. Go Bucks. Alex, what do you think about this street here? We're entering Barrio de las Letras, or nearby. I like the vibe here. It's dark, everybody's on the street, drinking, eating, it's nice. It's, it's, More it's, terraces. It's romantic. At the cerveza. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I don't know what I'm saying though. San Miguel Jarra, pero esto es this is de la casa del abuelo. Aceitunas, are they good? <laughs> yeah. Not really. Yeah. 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 Really good. These are the best, almost as good as gazpacho. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's such a cute bus. Alex, how is this building? Wow. It's incredible. Increíble. It's incredible. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Bro, this isn't Wisconsin. This is Madrid, Spain. A la Madrid. Go Pat, go. <laughs> Dude, what do you think of this bus? Wow, it's so clean. My goodness. Wow, the metro is really full. <laughs> Dude, where are all the houses? These are the houses, man. They're what? called pisos. Whoa. Get bro. Wow, this market is so cheap and diverse. My God. We got food from Lisbon, Portugal. Back there we had Peruvian food. Madre mia. Orale, que padre. <laughs> it's my country. Venezuela? My food my, of my country. Venezuela. Yo, this place is cojonudo. <laughs> ah, que rico. Mm. Que rico? Muy bueno. Mmm, que delicioso. El giri, el giri, mira el giri. <laughs> Man, this Spanish sun, it's just so bright. And amazing, dude. It's, it's amazing. What's it like in Wisconsin in the winter? In winter, you don't see the sun very much. Un dólar americano. ¿Cómo te sientes? Millonario. Alex, we gotta watch some football. It's Saturday, no college football. No badgers. Not football today. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this heart's really cool. And even these balconies are just so... Just Beautiful. Totally. These are actually nice totally. houses, right? Yeah, these are nice. I gotta get a picture. <laughs> Dude, there's terraces everywhere. Dude, welcome to Spain. I could write a 
bike bigger than that. Dude, I can't believe they fit here. That's so crazy. Dude, it's like we're in the Chamber of Secrets in Harry Potter or some shit. Toma, toma. Like, Eso, bravo, bravo, bravo. It's like we're in college again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, como te ama? Hermelinda. Hermelinda? Mariela. We, Alex just met these really nice girls on the metro for the first time. He me, loves me. Me amo, me amo Alex. <laughs> me encanta Madrid. Oh my god, there's so many people. Wow, this guy's like a soldier. Dude, that's Don Quixote. Hey, hey Alex, come on, what brings you here? Yo, what are you doing here? You know, I'm just visiting Spain. What up, man? Dude, I'm is that MC Palma? Dude, I know you from YouTube, man. Really? MC Palma. <laughs> Oh, look at this guy! Oh Dude. my god! We gotta show this guy Madrid how it's really hey, done. Bro, oh, man. man. You're gonna love Madrid, trust me. You're gonna love it. You're All gonna right. love it. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, show me around, bud. The culture, the people, the nightlife, the lifestyle. Amazing, bro. And this guy on the camera, behind the camera, Adventure Elliot. Bro. Oh, bro, MC Pablo! <laughs> Yo, this feels bigger than New York City. Wow. So, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Dude, what do you think of the new uh, World UNESCO World Heritage Site right here, Retiro Dude, Park? That's beautiful. And the Puerta de Alcala, Spain has, I think, 49 of these in the country, among the tops in Europe, right behind Italy. This is crazy. Awesome. And I'm taller than everybody else on these scooters. Parque de Tiro is insane right now. Wow, dude, is this not the best park in the world, you guys? Check it out. Parque de Tiro, you guys, on scooters. Does not get better than this. October in Madrid, Spain. El Rey Afonso. ¿Qué te trajo aquí a España? Y bueno, soy Palma y soy eh, un uh, informático aquí en España. Soy un youtuber también y soy de Uganda, en este África. Y... ¿Qué, ¿Qué tal tu experiencia en España? Eh, me encanta España mucho, la gente aquí muy cariñoso y comida también. Y bueno, eh, vida en España es muy mejor. Me encanta Madrid, ¿sabes? Y bueno, por eso España me encanta. Dude, why is everybody here so skinny? Wow. <laughs> Because they don't live off of McDonald's and fast food, Alex. Oh, Duh. they're not like me. <laughs> Bro, so you do tours in Madrid on scooters, right? So I do tours in uh, Madrid, basically electronic uh, scooter Madrid experience for tourists uh, at a price of maybe 10 euros and 8 euros, depending on the On the scooter. On the schedule, exactly. On the wow. Scooter. Tour guide MC Palma. So waiting for you so we can make this happen and you can have a good experience down here in Madrid. One thing is when riding these scooters is you're basically like a car. So you got to ride in the car lane and you gotta be safe. <laughs> Don't do this at home. MC Palma, you gotta treat this as a car, right? This yeah. is a car, you're in the car bike lane. Absolutely. Here in Plaza Cibeles, and we got a delivery driver here. This is how people get around in uh, Madrid, Spain. Absolutely. Additionally to bikes <laughs> and lots of walking. So this is a different type of tour on Madrid. I didn't expect to do this in uh, this video. Wowzers, who doesn't love a scooter tour in Madrid? We got a Starbucks there, a McDonald's. My friend will feel right at home. Okay, we made it out of the car zone, so to speak. You guys, that was intense, right? That was very intense. That was that awesome. Was experience. That was awesome. Hey, Palma, the best Airbnb tour guide in Madrid. <laughs> Represent. Guys, whoa. Represent. <laughs> Hello. Represent. <laughs> wow, I cannot see anything. But you guys were entering Puerta del Sol. Wow, this is the best metro train station I've ever seen. There's so many beautiful people everywhere, it's crazy. There's not beautiful people in the United States? They are, but everybody dresses nice here. Bro, what is that? What do they got up there? Dude, that's Jamon Iberico, the best ham in the world. I love Mao. I love Mao, baby. Mmm, that might be the best water I've ever tasted in like a public park. Madrid water is the best in the world. This park is so big. Look Alex, this is Casa de Campo. It's See? five times the size of Central Park in New York City. Wow, that's enormous. Dude, how does one city have so many beautiful parks? How do they have so many trees? I don't know, but I think that Madrid has the highest proportion of planted trees uh, in all of Europe. I can't believe how many people are still wearing masks over here. Mm. What is the temple doing in Madrid? 
Th this is the best place to see the sunset. Templo de Debol. Wow. Can you tell this is the most famous plot spot to take pictures in Madrid? We have the Almudena Cathedral over there. Everybody here enjoying the sunset. Live music and happy people. Wow, Popeye's in a safe neighborhood. <laughs> Louisiana Popeye's. Love that chicken for Popeye's. Mm. Chicken skins, cop man. <laughs> I'm moving to Malaga, guys. Wow, Spain even has a jungle. Dude, you basically have a beach in your backyard. Bro, it's so nice here. It must be really expensive to live here. <laughs> have you been to the east or west coast of the United States? <laughs> There's a beautiful scene around every corner here. Take a look. Just any corner. First menu of the day. Ostia. <laughs> I can't believe how big menu of the day is. We got dessert here now. Mm. Two other plates before that. No, um, gracias. Gracias, mi amor. Roman, Moorish, and Spanish ruins piled on top of each other. 150 beers. Whoa, it's a bullfighting ring. And so as we wrap up our uh, short trip here with Alex here from Madrid to Malaga, we're left with the final couple thoughts here. Alex went from ignorant to cultured and educated. And if you guys couldn't tell, we were mostly being sarcastic the whole time. And that's because Alex has been to Europe several times. In fact, where are you going now? I am going to Latvia. Latvia then? And then I'll be going to Scotland, uh, going to England. And you've lived in Germany, you speak German. See. Si. And so he's well aware of the cultural differences between the United States and America. But it proves a point that when you're from the United States and you don't have to venture across the Pacific or the Atlantic Ocean that sometimes your ignorance remains without knowing and you actually think the world revolves around you because that's what our culture, that's what pop culture, our media teaches you. But as we're here in Spain, we wrap it up. There's a lot to learn once you start traveling and that's sort of the moral of the story. So hope you guys in, uh, enjoyed that video. We're gonna watch the sunset here in Malaga. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Alex, so what are your final thoughts on Spain? España es cojonuto y de puta madre. Ha, 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 ha.